Hey there, and welcome to Surveillance Technologies. This is the second module in our TCOM series. In this video, we'll go over the basics of CT Plus and how to connect to a Challenger Plus panel. Let's kick things off by opening our shortcut on the desktop for CT Plus. The username is master, and the password is 4346. Next, we'll take a quick look at the CT Plus interface, which has our tabs and ribbons at the top. The Operation tab gives you options like quickly switching between systems, changing the status of connected panels, and checking live events in the alarm monitor. The User Access tab has everything you need to tweak card holders and time zones, as well as holidays and uh, access levels. Panel programming is where all the hardware related tasks happen, including programming data, gathering panels, uh, remote arming stations, these are often called DGPs and RASs. Smart card programmer is where we will set up our smart card programming for uh, systems that use TCOM smart cards. The administration tab is where you create new systems, sync, program firm, sync and program firmware, and import and export panels and systems. It is important to know the difference between exporting a panel and exporting a system. Exporting a panel just saves the data and programming in the panel programming tab, while exporting the system backs up all programmed panels and all users within the system. Lastly, the application tab lets us change our CT Plus password, log out, and tweak application preferences. Lastly, on a new install of CT Plus, I like to switch the view type from floating windows to tabbed windows, and also enable show record list with form. This makes viewing data far easier. Now for the last section of this module, we're going to create a system and add a panel to that system and connect to it. Now, creating a system is rather easy. Under Operation, we click Activate System. We can then click New. Now a system is a group of panels, but it should only be used for a single site. So each system should be for its own site. We shouldn't be using two different sites on the same system. So just remember that the user database is shared between panels on the same system and we should be good. Now for this system I'm just going to call it TCOM mod 2. I'm going to hit the save which is the little floppy disk in the top left hand corner of the tab and after hitting save we'll see it appear now in the record list on the right hand side and then we just click activate. Now there's a couple different ways we can add a panel, but I find this to be the, the simplest method. So from our operation tab, we're going to choose connections. We'll see there's no panels currently listed there. We're going to hit in the top left hand corner, new controller. We will see at the top is our record number, our controller name. I find labeling this uh, a description of where the panel can be found to be the best option, but we can also just uh, label it the the you know the name of the site. We then below that have the tick box to be able to enable this to enable its connection, so activate connection between the software and the panel. We have the different panel types. In this case, I'm connecting to a Challenger Plus. Uh, then after that, we have the default configuration for a default panel. So account code being one, authentication type being security password, the security password being all zeros, so 10 zeros. Uh, the time zone is by default set to Melbourne, Australia, but we can change that to plus 12 Pacific Auckland. The card format, this is for the auto generation of card uh, credentials for users, card holders, and an auto date time sync. With all those things selected, by default, a panel out of the box, this should just connect. I'm going to hit save. I'm not going to tick enable yet. I'm going to close my panels tab. 
and now on my connections tab I can see there is the panel there. I can see its state is disabled, its connection is offline, what version, oh sorry, what type of panel it is, what's in the command queue, it does say one there because it is going to try and send the panel's name to the panel, uh, the description of the panel, the account code, the endpoint is how we're connecting to the panel, it will then show the firmware after we connect and it's the panel's current status after that. So a couple ways I can start that connection is by either in the panel's programming section turn on that connection or I can press the change state button here or by right clicking on the highlighted panel and clicking enable. As you can see very quickly it connects it will then show me the firmware version confirming that it's a Challenger Plus. Its command queue will drop to zero after it's been connected and now we can retrieve the existing data from the panel. Whenever connecting to any panel, if you haven't connected to it before, it is crucial that you retrieve all the information from the panel so we're not just programming blindly. So right-clicking on the panel is the easiest way of doing it. Retrieve all programming. It'll bring up a prompt saying, are you sure you want to do this? We go yes, and you'll see the command queue now jumps up high and will slowly go down when the command queue is finished, that will reach zero. And now we have a full default database out of a Challenger Plus panel relatively quickly. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to see more TCOM and uh, videos across on our other product lines. Thank you.